Hi, I'm Shayma. I'm happy to be with you in this international seminar. As I'm a teacher of English language, I want to share you my thoughts and ideas about uh, an educational uh, method. Once a day, I was sitting in my class and I decided to test the ability of my students in English language speaking skills. So I asked them to prepare any topics they want for the next day. Uh, at first, they said, uh, no, no, please, uh, we don't like speaking. You can ask us in anything, reading, writing, grammar, or anything you prefer, but not any speaking. So I uh, told them, uh, don't worry, you have enough time uh, for tomorrow, so you can prepare uh, any topic you like it. And uh, the next day when they come, I discover that they have a lot of uh, problems in English language speaking. Uh, since that time, I decided to help my students to overcome these obstacles. I searched for uh, many strategies, uh, especially I searched on uh, web-based learning. And I found uh, different strategies. I choose uh, one of these strategies to be uh, my method in my method which I follow in teaching my students which uh, is this, this method is uh, flip the classroom uh, also um, it could be beneficial for the age which we live these days the age of coronavirus all of you know that since the coronavirus started uh, all the clo all the school are closed so students uh, can't meet, meet with the teacher uh, teacher is there to online lessons uh, to teach his or her students so flip the classroom could be a good solution for that uh, so what is a flipped classroom Flip the Classroom is a blended learning format in which students learn content online before class and do more practice-oriented work in a class. In other words, Flip the Classroom uh, means homework at school and schoolwork at home. So if we have a look at uh, this uh, data, which uh, refers to some pub uh, published research since uh, 2016 and until now, uh, we can conclude that there are a great number of research are conducted in flip the classroom in different areas which means that um, flip the classroom is a significant topic. We can uh, apply it in different areas uh, in teaching or uh, in any area. So what are the teachers and uh, learners roles? At first, the teacher create videos. Uh, these videos could be uh, prepared by the teacher himself or uh, prepared videos. Then share these videos with his students. The students watch these videos uh, and so, uh, at home or anywhere they like uh, or anytime they like. Then uh, prepare this lesson. They can answer a quiz uh, for the lesson. Uh, also, students can communicate with each other or uh, with the teacher. So it's a good chance to discuss uh, a good chance to discuss with the teacher or the students. Then the students go to schools, engage in learning activities. Uh, they can ask any questions they want for the teacher. And the teacher in that case uh, will be facilitator of the learning process. So who uh, the teacher only guides his students, no more than that. Uh, if students ask any question, he can guide them. So the students who are constructing the knowledge by themselves, not uh, the teacher who transfers the knowledge for his students directly. So it's a good advantage in uh, Flip the Classroom. Now, what is the difference between traditional and the Flip the Classroom? First, uh, traditional classroom, uh, learners listen lectures at school. Uh, the teacher assign homework, uh, then uh, students uh, do the homework at home. So in that case, school happens first and home happens second. But in the classroom, uh, 
students watch the instructional videos at home, answer the quiz, they can discuss on a platform with his uh, teacher or uh, their colleagues, then go to school and engage in different projects and activities, and the students uh, can discuss and cooperate to achieve the required task. In that case, which is flip the classroom, if, uh, school happen second, but home happen first. So there is a difference between both of them. According to Bloom Taxonomy, the first two levels, which are remembering and understanding uh, in a traditional classroom, happen in a class. But uh, the other levels happen outside the class. But in a flip the classroom, uh, the first two levels, uh, remembering and understanding, happen outside the class, while uh, applying, analyzing, evaluation, and creation happens inside the classroom. Uh, there are some research conducted uh, are conducted in this uh, area. Uh, refers that uh, flip the classroom can enhance higher order thinking skills, so it will be another advantage for the flip the classroom. Uh, what are the advantages of the classroom? As we said before, the first and the most important uh, advantage is using technology. So it's something will be beneficial for young learners and will be attractive also. Uh, students can interact with each other. Uh, this flip the classroom, uh, we can uh, say it's centered, uh, student center approach as the students uh, can uh, construct the learning by themselves so they um, they learn they can learn according to their pace they can uh, watch the video many times uh, play it stop pause it so they can learn anytime anywhere so they are uh, full control of their learning Another thing, uh, the motivation uh, is a great advantage in flip the classroom. Students can cooperate with each other to achieve the required task. Also, uh, feedback is a good thing in flip the classroom as the students can get uh, instant feedback uh, from the teacher through the platform or inside the classroom. It, uh, this feedback will help the students to improve his level. Uh, so it's a good advantage also. Another thing, uh, we let's speak about the challenges of flipped classroom. The first challenge is the teacher himself. Some teachers uh, maybe say, uh, sorry, we don't have time to uh, prepare videos uh, for the lessons or uh, we don't have enough facilities. And also maybe they believe that uh, it's um, it's not a good uh, method. We They believe uh, they believe in their traditional methods. So the solution for that is the teacher himself. The teacher can manage his time. The teacher can use prepared videos uh, on the internet. So he can uh, uh, choose any suitable resource. Uh, also, he can change his mind about the traditional methods. Uh, the second uh, challenge is the students themselves. Uh, the first is the design. Uh, maybe uh, the students feel that um, no, uh, it's not a good design uh, of this video, so they don't like it. It was the video will not be attractive for them, so they decide don't watch the video. Also, the resources maybe will not uh, the resources will not uh, be available for them. Uh, maybe the videos have uh, some technical issues, uh, problems. So the teacher should put in his uh, consideration uh, all these things to have uh, good uh, prepared videos. Uh, now, uh, according to my experiment, uh, the objective of my experiment is improving speaking skills among university students and comparing and analyzing the results of the two groups as I have two groups. The, the, this is the sample of my uh, experiment two groups, the first group uh, here in uh, Spain at Univer uh, University of Oviedo, the other one in Egypt uh, at uh, Asit University. Uh, the design which I will follow in my uh, experiment is a quasi-experimental design. Uh, 
uh, I will uh, use the pre pass test of speaking skills as uh, an instrument for my experiment. Then I will use the SPSS program for analyzing uh, the data of my experiment. Uh, so thanks for uh, your uh, uh, watching and I'm happy uh, to be with you and for uh, any question uh, I will be happy. Thanks. Bye.